A bank has a savings account that pays 4.1% interest, compounded quarterly. If you want to have $5,000 in eight years, how much would you need to deposit now? We will answer this question using the compound interest formula shown below, which is A equals P times the quantity one plus R divided by N raised to the power of N times T. In this problem, because you want to have $5,000 in eight years, A, the amount after time T is equal to 5,000, and since T is the time in years, T is equal to eight. And because the account pays 4.1% interest compounded quarterly, R is the interest rate expressed as a decimal, and therefore R is equal to 4.1%, which is equal to 0 0.041. And the number of compounding periods per year is equal to four, since the interest is compounded quarterly, and there are four quarters in a year. So we know n is equal to four. And then finally, p is the principal of starting amount, which we are trying to solve for, p is unknown. And now let's substitute the known values into the equation. A, the amount after time t is equal to 5,000, giving us 5,000 equals p the principal, which is unknown, times the quantity one plus r divided by n raised to the power of n times t which gives us one plus 0 0.041 divided by four, and this quantity is raised to the power of n times t, which is four times eight. Now looking at the equation, notice how p is attached to the parentheses by multiplication, and therefore to solve for p, we need to undo the multiplication by dividing both sides of the equation by this quantity here. Remember, any non-zero quantity divided by itself is equal to one. So we divide both sides of the equation by the quantity one plus 0 0.041 divided by four raised to the power of four times eight, or if we want, 32. Again, we divide both sides of the equation by the same quantity to maintain the equality. Now focusing on the right side of the equation, this quantity divided by itself simplifies to one. The right side simplifies to p, giving us p equals the quotient on the left, which we will evaluate on the calculator. We have 5,000 divided by, open parenthesis, one plus 0 0.041 divided by four, close parenthesis, raised to the power of four times eight, we can enter four times eight or just 32. I will enter 32. If you have an older calculator, you may have to enter parentheses around the exponent if you enter four times eight. And now we press enter and round to the nearest cent, which is $3,607.83. Which means you need to deposit $3,607.83 now in order to have $5,000 in eight years. And now for the second part of this question, how much would you have to deposit now if the bank paid 4.1% interest compounded monthly rather than compounded quarterly? Which means the only difference for the second part is now N is equal to 12, not four. So we still have A equals 5,000, T equals eight, R equals 0.041, now N equals 12. Again, because the interest is compounded monthly and there are 12 months in a year and the principal P is still the unknown. And now setting up the new equation, we need to recognize that N appears twice in the denominator here as well as in the exponent, which is now 12. So the equation is now 5,000 equals P times the quantity one plus 0 0.041 divided by 12, raised to the power of 12 times eight. And again, to solve for P, we divide both sides by this quantity here, which is the quantity one plus 0 0.041 divided by 12, raised to the power of 12 times eight. And again, on both sides of the equation. Simplifying on the left, this quotient simplifies to one, leaving us with P on the right. We have P equals the quotient on the left, 
And now going back to the calculator, we enter the quotient. Again, we have 5,000 divided by the quantity 1 plus 0 0.041 divided by 12, close parenthesis, raised the power of, this time we'll enter 12 times 8. And again, if you have an older T84 or 83, you would have to put the 12 times 8 in parentheses to make sure the product is in the position of the exponent. And enter. Notice now the principal starting amount to the nearest cent would be $3,603.83. Notice this time we had to round up. To answer the second question, you would need to deposit $3,603.83 now to have $5,000 in eight years if the account pays 4.1% interest compounded monthly. I hope you found this helpful.